Good morning, class. Today, we are going to discuss a new poem called Day by Sir Cecil Spring Rice. Are you ready? Yay! Yeah. Yeah. I am busy, said the sea. I am busy, think of me. Making continents to be. I am busy, said the sea. I am busy, said the rain. When I fall, it's not in vain. Wait, and you will see the grain. I am busy, said the rain. I am busy, said the air. Blowing here and blowing there. Up and down and everywhere. I am busy, said the air. I am busy, said the sun. All my planets, everyone. No, my work is never done. I am busy, said the sun. Sea and rain and air and sun. Here is a fellow toiler one, whose task will soon be done. Let's analyze the poem. Poetry Day The poet Sir Cecil Spring Rice Sir Cecil Spring Rice studied at Oxford, England. He was a famous British diplomat who held many posts in the services of his country. He was the ambassador to Iran and the United States of America. Along with his political work, Spring Rice was a poet. His most famous poem is I Vow to Thee My Country. Spring Rice also took the time to write poems for children. His children's poetry was written to help them appreciate the wonderful world around them. The poem day. I am busy, said the sea. I am busy, think of me. Making continents to be. I am busy, said the sea. I am busy, said the rain. When I fall, it's not in vain. Wait and you will see the grain. I am busy, said the rain. I am busy, said the air, blowing here and blowing there, up and down and everywhere. I am busy, said the air. I am busy, said the sun, all my planets, every one, know my work is never done. I am busy, said the sun. Sea and rain and air and sun, here is a fellow toiler one, whose task will soon be done. Stanza 1 I am busy, said the sea, I am busy, think of me, making continents to be, I am busy, said the sea. What is the meaning of continent? A large landmass. Paraphrase. The poet says that the sea says that it is busy working. We must think of its important work. It is building the continents that will appear in the future. Figures of speech. Personification, said the sea. The poet gives the sea the image of a person who can talk. Devices. Alliteration, said, sea. It gives inner music that appeals to the senses. Rhyme scheme. A, 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 A. It gives outer music. Stanza 2 I am busy, said the rain. When I fall, it's not in vain. Wait and you will see the grain. I am busy, said the rain. What's the meaning of in vain? Useless. What's the meaning of grain? Crops. Paraphrase. The poet says that the rain doesn't fall uselessly. It does an important job. Helping the plants to grow to feed the world. Figures of speech. Personification, said the rain. The poet gives the rain the image of a person who can talk. Devices. Alliteration, wait, will, it gives inner music that appeals to the senses. Rhyme scheme. B, 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 it gives outer music. 
Stanza 3 I am busy, said the air, blowing here and blowing there, up and down and everywhere. I am busy, said the air. Paraphrase The poet says that the air does an important job. It is blowing here, there, and everywhere. Figures of speech Personification, said the air. The poet gives the air the image of a person who can talk. Devices Contrast, up and down, here and there. The contrast enhances the meaning. Rhyme scheme C C C C. It gives outer music. Stanza 4 I am busy, said the sun, all my planets, every one. No, my work is never done. I am busy, said the sun. Paraphrase The poet says that the sun says that it is busy working. Everyone and all the planets know that the work of the sun never finishes, as it is the main source of light, heat, and energy on Earth. Without the sun, nothing would exist. Figures of speech personification said the sun the poet gives the sun the image of a person who can talk devices alliteration said sun it gives inner music that appeals to the senses rhyme scheme d d d d it gives outer music stanza five sea and rain and air and sun here is a fellow toiler one whose task will soon be done What's the meaning of fellow? Friend. What's the meaning of toiler? Worker. What's the meaning of task? Job or work. Paraphrase. The poet talks to the elements of nature saying that he is their friend and he works too. But his work will be finished soon because he will die one day. Figures of speech, personification, here is a fellow toiler one. The poet likens the elements of nature as friends. Devices. Alliteration. See, sun. It gives inner music that appeals to the senses. Rhyme scheme. D, D, D. It gives outer music. Commentary. One. The poem consists of five stanzas. Two. The language is simple and beautiful. 3. The rhyme scheme is easy and regular. 4. There are some personifications and devices like alliteration and contrast. Rate your understanding from 1 to 5. 5. five. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification so that you never miss a lesson. I can't wait to see you soon. Have a great day.